because Jesus Christ was our past before any of us were born or conceived. Jesus Christ is our present now, and Jesus Christ is our future after we die on earth. In this video, I will explain why Nick Fuentes is absolutely right about Christian futurism. The Conflict of Modern Christianity One of the main problems of modern Christians is that they long for the past. Many people think that the past is better because they are dissatisfied with the current state of Christianity. Meanwhile, some experts point out that modern society is in decline due to the loss of Christian values. Today we live in a much more competitive society where individuals look out for themselves rather than for others. Gone are the days when the common citizen followed the teachings of the Bible and sought to help others. Despite this, Nick Fuentes believes that we should stop looking at the past and start looking at the present and the future because they are what we have. We cannot travel back in time or return to Constantinople, but we can build new cities and spread our faith to every corner of the planet. This is one of Nick Fuentes' most powerful reflections. Getting stuck in the past is not beneficial for the Christian community. Modern problems require modern solutions, so we must look to the future. Jesus Christ is our past, present, and future. Even if Christian values are being lost, we can prevent that from continuing to happen. But to do that, we must be more united than ever to make this the most Christian century in history. Think of all we could do with the power of technology and the internet to expand our faith. Our forefathers did a titanic feat carrying the word of God to the earth's darkest corners with nothing more than the aid of their feet. But now, things are different. We can access vehicles, planes, and ships capable of crossing the seas, and we can use the internet. God has given us the tools to continue to evolve and bring words of hope and love to others. We should not look at the past with sadness, but feel grateful for all it has allowed us to achieve and use it, as our engine to drive us toward a better future. What wonders could the modern Christian achieve with all the tools we have? How many people could we help? In the Bible Jesus is called the first and the last. He is from eternity past and we await his glorious return. Therefore, Christianity was always meant to look forward to the future. Misinterpretation of the Bible Many people think that the Bible was written to keep people down or make some feel morally superior to others. However, the Bible speaks of how all have sinned and we all need to seek God and his forgiveness. Jesus is our perfect example of conduct when he walked the earth. He extended his grace and forgiveness to every single person he encountered, no matter what choices they had made in the past, present, and future. It is our responsibility to follow in Jesus' footsteps. We must forgive others as God has forgiven us. If we cannot forgive ourselves, we will never be able to forgive others. And if we do not look for a better future, can we consider ourselves Christians? As scripture says, Galatians 5 verse 14, For the whole law is fulfilled in one word, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Going back to the past would be the simple solution. However, Jesus' path was anything but simple. As the Bible states, he was despised and rejected by mankind, a man of suffering, and familiar with pain. Like one from whom people hide their faces, he was despised, and we held him in low esteem, Isaiah 53 verse 3. If Jesus could endure all these hardships, we have to live up to his expectations. We must use our past as a foundation to build a better future and not stagnate as a society. Locking ourselves in church thinking of better days will not bring us back to Jesus or the former glory of the Christian. So, it is our responsibility to build a better Christian society together. However, we can only make society more Christian by evangelizing, and it is through the renewing of the minds of our countrymen that America will become moral and God-fearing again. Some political speeches claim that we should return to the 40s or 80s because they know we all miss the past. However, I think Nick Fuentes' view of looking to the future is the most accurate. Even if all the conditions were met, our society could not be what it was before. It needs to evolve. We must put all our efforts into the youth, who will have children, marry and produce the Christians who will succeed us. The next generation will be responsible for building our country. Our hopes and dreams lie with them. If we want to create a more Christian society, we have to start looking at those around us. How long will we continue to complain and miss the past? Don't you think the time has come for us to take responsibility? 
Jesus' mission was to redeem the people through his perfect life, atoning sacrifice, and victorious resurrection and to give his people eternal life through redemption by his blood. Our mission is to spread this gospel message. Our Christian forefathers did a lot for us. They gave us a more tolerant and compassionate world than they could have dreamed of. However, it is still not a perfect world. There is still much injustice, and our responsibility is to fight it to create a more dignified society. And we will get this society by treating all men as they deserve to be treated, as men who bear the image of God. In other words, there is still much to be done in the present. Just the fact that you are watching this video means that you are special. Jesus loves you just as he loves others. But unfortunately, many people have not yet been able to find his love. That's why Nick Fuentes is right when he says we must move forward into the future. Think of all the things that humanity has not yet discovered. We will be able to develop more exciting technologies in the next 10, 20, and 30 years. And that technology could be used to save more lives. This is what modern Christianity should be aiming for. Advances in technology are allowing people with disabilities to walk again. How many people who a thousand years ago would have been doomed to blindness have regained their vision through laser surgery? Cars are becoming better and more independent. In tomorrow's world, vehicles are expected to operate automatically, allowing disabled people to get around town. Smartphones allow us to capture our family's best moments and memories. And virtual reality allows us to transport ourselves anywhere without leaving our homes. So let me ask you this question, do you really want to return to the past? Returning to the past would be to reject God's teachings and abandon humanity in its greatest process of evolution. We are doing things we thought were not possible, and we are moving toward a better future. Even if there are things in society that we would like to be changed. Nick Fuentes mentions that conservatives and Christians should stop missing the past because it is different. The new era allows society to transform itself. No matter how many attempts we make to keep things as they are now, the world has never been static and never will be. Therefore, reminiscing about the good old days is a waste of time and energy. Instead, we should be focused on creating memories and making this the most advanced century in history. Christianity needs to evolve to adapt to the changes of the modern era. I'm pretty sure the early Christians didn't have TikTok and Telegram. However, had they had access to these media, they would not have hesitated for a moment to make use of them. Unfortunately, the early Christians no longer walk the earth, but we have the duty now to carry on their task. The future of Christianity needs a more united and communicative community than ever before. And we have the task of building it. That is why we are at one of the most exciting times in human history. Nick Fuentes explained it best. Conservatives and Christians need to move forward. And the only way to move forward is to work to build a better future. Take Japan, for example, after World War II. Many war-torn Japanese thought about returning to the past when Hiroshima and Nagasaki were destroyed and didn't want to live in the present or were optimistic about the future. However, those who believed in a better future helped rebuild Japanese society. Today, Japan is one of the most developed countries in the world due to cooperation between the government, industries, and the Japanese custom of hard work. Even though the Japanese are not Christian, their national unity has enabled them to overcome many challenges. But can you imagine what we could do with national unity and God on our side? We have a powerful faith and a nation full of wealth. Even if the news shows the worst that happens in the United States, thousands of good deeds happen every day without anyone noticing them. How many firefighters save lives every day? How many surgeons are guided by the hand of God? And how many Christians serve hot meals to homeless people without expecting anything in return? These are the kinds of people to whom the Christian community should lend its support. Those who make us proud of our faith and quietly sustain our country. We are facing one of the greatest opportunities in history to make things change for the better. And people like you will be more than necessary for Christianity to have a bright future. Do you think Nick Fuentes is right about Christian futurism being the future of our country? Let me know in the comments. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video to keep supporting us. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.